San Antonio police say suspects are still on the run this morning following a shooting that led to a multi-car crash on the city's northeast side with two victims rushed to the hospital. It happened on Walsham and Parkcrest just outside of Walmart on Sunday. Police say a silver vehicle chased a stolen white Kia on Walsham Road and fired several rounds at that vehicle, striking two teens inside the white car. Now, during the incident, somebody in the white Kia slammed into two innocent bystanders inside their vehicle. He spoke to one of the victims and he tells us the entire incident happened within minutes. He hit me broadside and spun my car around. And when he spun my car around, the other car clicked me. Two of the shooting victims were rushed to University Hospital. One team was shot in the chest. At last check, he was in critical condition. The other team was shot in the shoulder. Detectives are working to get video footage from nearby businesses to identify the suspects and victim that got away. They say the shooter in the silver vehicle is still on the run. Authorities are expected to file charges today against the person accused of breaking in House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's home and attacking her husband. As ABC's Elizabeth Schulze reports, the incident is shedding light on violent threats against members of Congress. Heightened fears over lawmakers' safety as new details emerge about the alleged suspect who attacked House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband. Law enforcement sources tell ABC News 42-year-old David DePap had zip ties and duct tape in his bags early Friday when he broke into the Pelosi home. Sources say DePap shouted, where's Nancy? Another parallel to the January 6th Capitol attack. Where are you, Nancy? Authorities say Paul Pelosi called 911 when DePap broke in, leaving the line open. RP stated that there's a male in the home and that he's going to wait for his wife. RP stated that he doesn't know who the male is. Police arrived within two minutes. When they ordered DePap to drop his weapon, a hammer, that's when he allegedly struck Pelosi at least twice, fracturing his skull. This was not a random act. Authorities are now combing through the suspect's social media pages. Some allegedly show multiple false conspiracy theories about the 2020 election. What happened to uh, Paul Pelosi is despicable. It's unacceptable. The attack highlighting the growing hostility toward members of Congress, with threats at an all-time high more than doubling since 2017. In an increasingly toxic political climate, a joint FBI Homeland Security bulletin sent to police nationwide now warns of a heightened threat by lone wolves ahead of the midterm elections. A politics where, where some in office or who aspire to office work to stir up division, to, to make folks as angry and as afraid of one another for their own advantage. House Speaker Pelosi says her family is heartbroken and traumatized by the life-threatening attack. The San Francisco DA is expected to file charges against the alleged suspect today, with a court hearing expected tomorrow. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington. This morning in South Korea, shocked family members are collecting bodies and parents are still searching for their children. That's after at least 153 people were crushed to death when a crowd surged in an alleyway during Halloween festivities over the weekend. Two Americans are among the dead. South Korea's president has declared a period of national mourning and designated the affected area as a disaster zone after the Saturday night tragedy. The party are some still in their teens and many in Halloween costumes were ready enjoyed to enjoy bars, nightclubs, and restaurants. Instead, the street became filled with people crying for help while emergency workers desperately sought to free trapped bodies and perform CPR on those clinging to life. 